And taking care of you and your mental well-being can often go forgotten, but we are not the only ones hoping to remind you this morning about the love and support in this community. One local restaurant has made it their mission to reach people beyond the perfect dish by tackling mental health. Malik Wilson joins us live to share more. Good morning, Mary. Kiana, a.k.a. Queen, is the founder and owner of Gossip Pasta, who blazes the race in using food to bring people together. And today you're here to share how you're further in that mission, you know, to bring mental health to the forefront. So explain a little bit quickly about your business. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, I want to talk about the mental health aspect behind it. All right, Gossip Pasta's restaurant event space, uh, catering and all that good stuff, right? Um, it's our mission is to reintroduce families to the dining table. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, you know, you, you get to the dining table and you learn each other. You learn likes, dislikes, all of that good stuff. Lovely. And so I started thinking, my, uh, my other half is a, a therapist and I was like, hey, we need to come together. Like, you're gonna come and be the therapist. I'm gonna cook this good food and we're gonna have some mental health brunches because it's something that needs to be talked about definitely. in our community. Definitely, definitely. And so um, I know that you guys have your first one coming up the 21st. 28. 28th. 28th? Mm -hmm. So talk about what that will entail um, and kind of how your husband will play, you know, or your significant other. Uh -huh. She's pushing it on you guys. Yeah, that's guys. okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but listen, uh, you know, talk about what the day will entail. All right, so the day we're going to start it off with a good sounds of music. Uh, music, you know, makes everybody happy, right? Mm -hmm. So then we'll get to our brunch. We'll give our um, our clients um, brunch from noon to 1.30. Okay. Bernard will come on and speak on about uh, generational trauma in our community. Um, it's something that just isn't talked about, you know. I think we uh, spoke about like, uh, did your parents ever say what goes on in our household stays? Right. So was it a good thing or a bad thing? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about that a little more uh, in depth. Um, after brunch, we're gonna uh, open it up for Q&A, so they'll get okay. a little more uh, therapy sessions with Bernard, and um, we'll break that bread a little more and, and go home. Definitely. Like, we, we plan to do this every month, different topics, so that uh, we can open it up and uh, open some minds and let people know that it's okay to talk about it. Right, definitely, yeah. and I think that's a huge thing, you know, especially in our community of holding things in, bottling things in, being the, the warrior for our family. And so it's always good to have a safe space to kind of release. Oh yeah, and, and it's private, it's a private right. event. And it's, I don't know, I feel like we open up more to strangers oh, than we yeah. do to people we you know, love and see constantly, especially with a couple of these mimosas kicking oh, in, you're yeah. gonna be opened up oh, for yeah. sure. But uh, I wanna bring your husband, I mean, I keep calling him your husband. Listen, it's I'm okay. speaking to it to fruition. I just, <laughs> listen, oh man, you gotta squat down just a little bit, just a little bit. So this is this is the significant other right here who is going to be a part of this. Um, we don't have a mic on you right now, but I think you guys are doing an amazing job. Keep doing what you're doing. I know we've talked constantly. Um, I love what you're doing, so thank good you. kudos to you. Thank you know, I want to give you a hug right you. here. Yeah, thank kudos you. to you. But listen, all the information that you guys are going to need is right there on your screen. Check that out. The first brunch will be Saturday, January 28th. You guys are also offering 10 free brunches <clears throat> to men 21 or older. Uh, 10 free brunches. So talk about that really, really quick. Yeah, because it's kind of hard to get men in to uh, yeah. open up. And I was thinking that if I can give them some food and some of our love and some of our energy, they'll open up and come on in and, you know, take hold of the food and, you know, and uh, get some of our love. Because, yeah. So all the information, like I said, will be on that link. Uh, be sure to check out that link. You can also give them a call. You can find that number on our website, uh, show me ksdk.com. So again, kudos to you guys yeah. and uh, cheers up to a wing. Cheers to a wing. <laughs> cheers to a wing. And cheers up with you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh man, Malik, I love that. I love that call. So it's all about community and coming together.